equations. So ladies and gentlemen, we're solving literal equations. Um, basically, literal equations are the exact same thing like lin uh, linear equations. We're going to apply the same operations. We want to look at our variable and get the variable by itself. So one thing that I've always thought was helpful when doing this was to circle my variable. And by circling the variable, what I like to think about that is like pinning the variable to the board. I'm not going to be changing where the variable. I'm going to keep the variable there. Now all I need to do is look at it and say, all right, what is happening to my variable? What operations are, being hap are happening to my variable? Is there any addition or subtraction? No. What is the R squared doing to my variable? What operation is being applied to it? Guys, guys down this row, guys down this row. That's guys, that's shit. Yeah, OK, yes? Uh, it's being multiplied, right? So how would you undo multiplication? Division. Division. Now, you could do these at the same time, but I'm going to do them separately. So let's just undo multiplication by r squared. When I undo multiplication by r squared, I'm going to divide r squared. Uh, um, hold on. Could you take this back as well? Because um, she left for the assembly. So we divide by r squared. Well, r squared divided by r squared is going to divide to 1. So now I'm left with v over r squared equals pi thirds times h, right? Because the h is, you know. And you can go back and circle it again if you like. So now we look at this and say, all right, again, what is happening to my variable? It's being multiplied by pi over 3, right? So how do we undo multiplying? We have to? Divide. But we don't like dividing fractions. We like to multiply by the reciprocal. So I'll just multiply. So to solve this problem, I'll multiply by a reciprocal, which would be 3 over pi. Therefore, any number of times it's reciprocal. So therefore, my final answer is h equals 3v over r squared, or pi r squared. OK, and that's it. Done. That's all you guys had to do. All right, so I know literal equations, guys. They're difficult because you're not getting like a number or a value as you're